You know it, I know it, and despite what some nutters out there on the internet will tell you, cold showers suck. Home automation doesn't have to be reserved for when you're at home. In fact, I love that my house takes care of things while I'm not there. I trained something called Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and because it's a workout, I want a hot shower when I get home, but I don't want to have to remember to pull out my phone and press a button to boost the hot water while I'm there. Instead, I set up a zone around my dojo so my smart home knows when I'm training and it will just do it for me. This automation also has a high family approval factor because it will boost the hot water while my wife's at the climbing wall so that she can have a hot shower when she gets back. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ben. I'm a software engineer who spent probably a little bit too much time automating my house with Home Assistant. If you like exploring new home automation ideas, then you're in the right place. Zones are basically just geofences that you can set up in Home Assistant and they're baked in by default so there's no need to go installing anything extra in order to start using them. A zone is considered active for a user when their device running the Home Assistant companion app is in that geofence. There's some potential for them to be a little bit flaky because some devices try to optimise their battery usage by limiting location updates but we'll get into that in a little more detail for everyone in the video. To set up a zone, you navigate to settings, areas, labels and zones, select the zones tab and tap the add zone button and that will let you draw a circle to create the geofence around the area that you're interested in. The companion app needs to be running on your phone as well, it needs to make sure it has access to location services. If you open settings, companion app, manage sensors, scroll down to location sensors and turn on a location zone and background location. Now you're set up with zones and the companion app, you can start using them in your automations. I've got a high thermostat and I'm using that, but this would of course work for something like an Ecobee or a Nest. My automation is set up to make sure that I've been dwelling in the zone for a little while before the hot water's boosted. I don't want to be driving past the dojo and for the boiler to kick in and waste energy. After a little bit of trial and error, I realized that you have to explicitly set enabled to true in the trigger step for the automation for the geofence to actually work when you add in some dwelling time. There's a few other automations that I have which don't use a dwell time, but they still use zones. One of these automations will turn off potty reminders when I'm at the school drop-off. The idea is that if I've dropped the kid off at nursery, then I don't want to be reminded about using the potty. Don't forget to let the tiny human take a potty break before it's a puddle party. Another automation will turn the heating off when we head to the in-laws. They live quite far away and normally we visit for a couple of days, so it kind of makes sense to turn off the hot water while we're there. The automation, of course, will do the reverse as well, so that the hot water gets turned on as we head home. This is superior by far to the home and away automations that you get with typical smart thermostats because you can add in some smart geographic considerations around how long it will take the hot water to heat and how long for the house to warm up. You don't really want your heating to be turning back on as you get home. You want it to turn on so that it's warm by the time that you arrive back. If you're using an Android phone, it's worth knowing that there's a feature called doze mode. I'll add in some links down in the description if you want to read more. But basically, in a nutshell, if your phone detects that the screen is off and you're not doing anything, it will put it into a deeper sleep and then batch actions when it wakes up again. This means notifications can be delayed and relevant to this video, location updates won't happen. There's a few things to change to make sure that the geofences are tripped in a timely manner. First, go into the app info and make sure you've turned on pause app activity if unused. Next, under app battery usage, make sure that you've turned on allow background usage. Finally, go into battery and battery saver, open up adaptive battery and make sure use adaptive battery is turned off. This will of course affect your battery life because your phone won't be entering doze mode, but it will mean that you get notifications quicker in some cases and it will also trigger zones much more quickly. Depending on your setup, this might be a problem for you, but I'm still getting a full day with this setup you can see I turned it on a few months ago, but there's a noticeable dip in the battery level. If you enjoyed the video, throw a thumbs up down below, it really helps the channel out. And what are you using zones for if you use them? Let me know down below in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you.